Hey there YouTube, my name is Tyler and I am Mr. Game and Beer, and welcome back to Let's Play Baldur's Gate Enhanced Edition Co-op with John and Jason. Hello! Hey! And if things look different, we just uh, slept I in the sewers ready. finally as per John. It was, it was wonderful. wonderful. Yes. It was great. Yes. With ease. You must gather your party before I wasn't the one that was torpid and required some no. venturing forth. But uh, you know. You know. You know. You know. I think we're gonna check out the Iron Throne. I think this is where we're going. We're gonna storm it. We're just gonna, you know, kill everybody. Leave me be. Art is here. Daniel. It will be done. Daniel. Sorry, Daniel. I don't wanna talk. Sure. Dongle. You just got Dongle. 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 Hmm? Just go for it again. Pretty sure she's With just these. gonna. Out of my way, interloper. I am getting off this stinking ship as fast as I can. Why are you so panicked? Is Saravok not in control? I will not debate that he is in control, but whatever his plans, they certainly do not have the good of the Iron Throne in mind. He has abandoned us in favor of his new position, that of soon to be appointed Grand Duke. We are simply to be cast off, and I would not be surprised if he marches the Flaming Fist through here tomorrow as a show of his stance on mercantile crime. <clears throat> Saravok is to be the Grand Duke? How can this be? Quite simple, really. He has built up support by pledging to combat the very chaos he himself is sowing. I imagine he'll have a fantastic success rate, too, seeing as how he is in total control of our leaders. With our leaders dead. I doubt that he will settle into a nice, quiet political life, though. He seems set on causing as much destruction as possible, and I think he is intent on pushing for war with Arm. Why would he pursue such a destructive plan? What could he gain from it? How should I know? I'm no diviner. I only know business. And what he is doing makes very little economic sense. Had he wished to grow rich from dealing in ore, then I would have understood. Had he kept the Iron Throne intact, he could have used his upcoming position as Duke to sanction Arm and increase our trading power over the groups like the Knights of the Shield. As it is, he is seemingly intent on abandoning us and launching a bloodbath of war. Oh, this. The people believe in Sarvok, and it will take more than a blade to reduce his stature in the eyes of the public. I care not. I will destroy him. No, no. How can people believe in him? Can they not see his nature? People see what they wish, and they really wish to see a savior. He offers stability and seems to seems able to deliver. That is more than anyone has it been able to give them so far. I tire of this chatter. If you feel you must strike me down, do as you wish. Do not expect me to wait around while you do it, though. Now she can go. Yeah. <laughs> Not a problem. I think there were other people in here that just kind of disappeared. Oh, <laughs> Pang Wan. Oh, get out of my way. I don't care who you are. I just want out of here. Just who are you? Pang Wan is the name, and I'll thank you kindly to get out of my way. I don't care why you're here. Take all you wish if you are thieves. I just want to leave. That Sarawak has become too big for his britches. Our leaders weren't a day dead before he declared the Iron Throne to be his. And you won't mind if I help myself to your coffers, will you? Bah! They are nearly empty regardless. Saravok has been making decisions on the sidelines for some time now, and it has cost us all plenty. He does not seem concerned with profits of much or much of anything. The Iron Shortage became his pet project, but he has used it to inflame tensions and self building business. He's brought us down, for sure. As sure as if he was some hero. What reason he would have to provoke a war, I don't know. Enjoy your looting. I'm leaving for good. Well, we've already been here once, and there was nothing anyway that time, so... Do you want a buff, or...? I don't know. Yes. Hmm. Who are you? Have you business here? Ah, uh, what does it matter? Everything is in shambles. <laughs> Jeez. I'm here to put an end to the Iron Throne. As much of, as much as your eagerness should impress me, it does not. You are a bit late by my standards. The leadership of the Western Division of the Iron Throne, my father, my friends, all three are dead, killed in Candle Keep. I should have seen it coming. I know they are dead because I am accused of their murders. Is that who you are? Then I owe you a knife in the gullet for what you have done. What did Saravok trick you into killing them? Or did he just do it himself and then blame you? I'll kill you just to be safe. I will. 
Or my father, someone will die tonight. I stand it's gotta ready. be you, dude. <laughs> You're the five fingered man. <laughs> Sorry, bud. Oh, yeah, that was fast. <laughs> five fingered what man. You? 12 health. <laughs> five fingered man. <laughs> <laughs> There's a few of us. My father was killed by a five fingered man. <laughs> There's at least five five fingered men here. It will be the done. short sword plus one I just gave you there. It will be done. There's nobody on this floor. Oh. It appears. Is the cook still here? Oh, Calais, Calais, yeah. unclean. You there! Stand your ground a moment! I demand to know what is going on here. I've been sent from Sembia to determine why the branch of the Iron Throne is founded, and I have found no one who will stand still more than a second. What in blazes is going on here? Why not ask Saravok? He seems to be the one in the control now. Saravok? That upstart? And the rumors I've heard are true. Our regional leaders here are dead, and Saravok has assumed their roles. Such arrogance. No doubt he had a hand in their demise, I'll wager. I would explain why we have not been getting reports on progress here on the coast, but what could he be up to? I shall have to report these findings to my superiors at once. What is your name and rank here? I shall report of you as well. <laughs> uh, actually, I'm the person accused of killing the Iron Throne leaders. Are you now? From what I have heard, Saravok may have had a far more active role in that killing than any outsider. So what have you come here to do? Destroy us all, or to destroy your name? It would seem that we now have a mutual enemy of sorts. I think my superiors would not be ungrateful if you would remove Saravok from this organization. I would almost call this outpost of the Iron Throne a complete loss, though with Saravok gone, perhaps it could be built anew. Perhaps it could? No, I doubt people will trust you. People trust whom they wish to trust, whether there is reason to or not. I would imagine that is why Saravok has flourished. Plays on people's fears masterfully. If he were not so destructive, he would have been a good, been a great asset. What is he up to? No matter. I will report all of this, and we will wash our hands of the whole problem. Good day, and goodbye. Okay. <laughs> Get her! <laughs> Wait, and upstairs. she went what? upstairs. Maybe she doesn't know the way out. No time. She's, She's in the basement. Worth things. Apparently I have to go around Worth things originals. Uh, hello, Archer Darkman. I suppose we should have expected you coming here. Bit of unfortunate business in Candle's Keep, eh, what? Uh, what do you know of what happened there? I know that you are the unwitting dupe of Saravok, as, we, as were we. It would seem that he sacrificed our leaders just to discredit you, knowing that you were perhaps the only ones that stood in his way. Of course, he has also become our leader of the Iron Throne himself, but he seems quite beyond needing us now. Such disrespect to throw us away as he did. It hardly matters now, what with his coronation imminent. I'm sure the Ducal Palace will never quite be the same. I must go. A pleasure chatting with you. Yeah, it was okay, I suppose. <laughs> I've had and he goes upstairs. <laughs> They're all just converging on the uh, top floor. <laughs> They're grouping up. We should have taken them out. <laughs> yeah. We'll face the fi their uh, final form up there. Kepka. Um, this is the last floor. Should we buff now? Oh. Scythandria. Hmm, <laughs> so you've come back. If you were smart, Archer Dartman, you would have left lo well alone. Uh, 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 <laughs> I don't know how you escaped my lord's trap at Candle Keep, but you won't be getting any farther than here. Why did you come back here? I would have thought that you'd go after Saravok directly. Someone told us that this would be the place to go. Who told you to come here? Who betrayed my lord? It was Tomoka, wasn't it? I always knew her to be a traitorous whore. But it matters little if she did or not. All that matters is that you will die. Not uh -uh. likely. Even with ogres, I think we're still probably just gonna oh, wreck you. It's a little you. late for ogres, isn't it? Ugg and uh, One's arg. named Ugg. <laughs> Ugg and Arg. Okay, as soon as she becomes visible, just fudge her up. What did she just cast? A spell? Uh, I think she tried to hold or charm or something. Oh, she cast mm. confusion. Didn't work. Yeah. <laughs> Wait! Do not kill me, please! I. I will tell you where to go to find my. The under. 
The Undercellar is where you wish to go. It is there that you will find Saravok. You can reach the Undercellar through the sewers. Please let me go now. I am shamed by my lack of courage. What do you guys think? Give us all your possessions and then get out of our sight? Uh, what do you think, Jason? I don't know. She seems like she'd be coming back. Yeah, as you Just should be, chance. coward. Now you die. You do not give mercy. You are more like Saravok than he would have imagined. Oh, I'm just standing there now. Good. And she's dead. Damn ogres, though. <laughs> I have... The ogres are the real story. <laughs> they hit Kagane a couple times. I think he'll be fine. I don't... I'll just uh, regen it. What is this? The diary Ooh, of Sarah Rock. Letter. Letter. <laughs> Letter what? Saravok, I must say that our first victim was not the challenge that my wife and I had expected. The foppish idiot had only the most token of defenses. However, I can assure you that Entar screamed quite deliciously all the way to the end. Entar Silvershield. Where do I know that name? I don't know. I hope that this next mission is much more difficult from what you have told me it would seem to be. Assassinating two Grand Dukes in their own palace while they harangue the high nobles of Baldur's Gate, no less. I can't uh, wait. You still know where to find us. You should come down and enjoy the pleasures of the Underseller for yourself, but if I know you, that'll never happen. The Underseller. Saravok. Maybe he is enjoying the pleasures. No. I have received your letter, and I'm quite overjoyed by your proposition. I have told my wife, and she is ex as excited as I am. I accept your mission and think that your payment is very adequate. This will be our greatest feat yet, to kill three Grand Dukes of Baldur's Gate. We will be arriving in Baldur's Gate within a week, and should be taking up our usual residence at the Undercellar. If you wish to contact us, you will find us there. Use the access points through the sewers. Joyfully yours, Slythe. Hey, there's another floor. Huh? Uh, Diary of oh. Saravok. This is a lot of reading. Huh. I remember this place. <clears throat> Why would you... This portion of the railing looks as if it's been recently repaired. You guys ready? We're on the roof right now. 14th of Elaint, 1365. Today, Cormier has instituted a ban against the Iron Throne from operating within their borders. While this is a great blow to the Iron Throne, it is the perfect opportunity for a Realtar to approach the Throne High Council with his proposal. If things go well, we could begin the operation within the year. 25th of Morpenoth, 1365. Uh, Daviorn has sent a message to Realtar informing him that the mine at Cloakwood has been drained and is ready for use. This revelation should help greatly in convincing the Throne High Council. 2nd of Nightall, 1365. The Iron Throne Council has agreed to support Realtar's plan. He has been given all the resources he needs, as well as leadership of the project. I have expressed interest to my father, quote-unquote, and he has promised to include me within the operations along the Sword Coast. He mentioned Mother in our conversation, how I wasn't to be unfaithful to him as she had. He made it clear that I would suffer her fate if I was. His threats are weak and hollow, and I shall listen to them for only so long. I have decided to take this time to make my visit to candle keep i have waited a long time to research the prophecies of alondo and i must know if the dreams speak the truth the dreams i think he's a ball of spawn too i'll not hmm. believe the words of phantoms without proof and the priest of ball i confronted gave me nothing he was old and died quickly in my grasp if the words are true i shall surely groom stronger acolytes than this yeah it sounds like he was <clears throat> 11th of chess 1366 my research has gone well. The monks here at Candlekeep have been quite helpful. From what I have read, it would seem certain that the blood of Baal does indeed flow How through my veins. This becomes. Shut up, Peter. His prophecies are, of course, ambiguous, and I think I understand them. He foresaw his coming death and seeded his essence across the land. The children born as a result bear the marks of chaos, have power with no direction, and shall feel the blood of a god within them. The deaths they bring shall awaken the father, and through them he will rise. How tedious all Shut this becomes. Shut up, Peter. Fuck. Sorry. It does not explicitly say, but obviously this means that death wrought by the children will cause them to ascend. Fitting, and since the father was the lord of murder, proving one's worth must involve an act in accordance with his portfolio, I begin to see what I must do. Death on a godlike scale. Third of Tarks Tarsak, 
1366. The monk Gorion troubles me. He seems to have taken an interest in my readings. I must be careful to be more clandestine in my research. I wish I could simply kill him, but I doubt I could safely murder him within this damnable library. 11th of Tarsac, 1366. I had a dream this night. My mother was talking to me, but as she did, her face became bloated and discolored. Her voice became weaker as she spoke to me, telling me to save her from Rialtar. I could see the garrot cutting into her neck, but I did nothing. It was only a dream. 27th of Tarsac, 1366. I take my leave of Candlekeep now, and not a moment too soon, for I am sure that Gorion has perceived my heritage. One thing that I am certain of, Archer Dartman is, in actuality, one of Baal's brood as well. Archer Dartman has all the markings, and it would explain Gorion's curiosity in my studies. Though there is nothing I can do now, I will have to make certain to return and kill the little brat. It would be foolish of me to let one of my siblings live, especially one being brought up by the Harpers, and I am sure that is where Gorion's allegiances lie. The Harpers. <coughs> <clears throat> 5th of Myrtle, 1366. Today I met with Rialtar on Baldur's Gate. The fool still insists on calling me his son, and for now I will let him. He assumes that I am loyal to him because What's he raised... What's it going to take to get a little action around here? Yorg, come on. <laughs> he assumes that I am loyal to him because he raised me. Well, loyal I am, but only as long as he is useful. He set up a base in the mansion of a destitute noble family and says that everything is running smoothly. Mullahay has established himself at the mines of Nashkel, and his kobold minions should be already busily contaminating the iron ore. Only a few slaves have begun to mine out the ore at Cloakwood. What's it going to take to get a little action around here? <clears throat> uh, though Rialtar assures me that once the bandit raids begin, we'll have a steady supply of new slaves. Eighth of Hammer, 1367. This is like two years. <laughs> I met with the leaders of the Chill and Black Talons. I have little liking for Ardenor, the leader of the Chill, but Torgos seems to be a man of his word. It is a What's good it thing. What's it going to take to get a little action around here? Fucking Yorg. I'm sorry. <laughs> As I'll have to work with these mercenaries for the rest of the year. Third of Tarsac. be interested in playing a little game? <laughs> Third of Tarsac, 1368. Everything proceeds well. The ore coming from Nashkel has started to deteriorate, and my mercenaries have been doing a fine job of destroying any iron caravans en route to Baldur's Gate. Though some of my mercenaries have been captured. What's it Most take to think get a they work for the Zents, so no trouble has fallen on the Iron Throne. I am sure that the Zents at Darkhold won't be pleased to know that their name has been falsely used. You wouldn't used. be interested in playing a little game, would you? I'll have to be wary for Zentish agents in the coming months. 28th of Tarsac, 1368. I think I now have the time to deal with that old codger Gorion and his little whelp. I will have to inform my men that I'll be gone for the next few weeks. Question mark of Myrtle. No time to write, but I must not neglect my journals so. The future dead must know of how the Lord of Murder again came to them. I shall hire a scribe when time allows. Things have not completely not gone completely as I have planned, but I will still be able to salvage the situation. Archer Dartman is on the move to Baldur's Gate. If I could maneuver the whelp to Candle Keep, then I would have the perfect scapegoat for my plan. My mortal, quote-unquote, father, Rialtar, is there to meet with the Knights of the Shield. He has been blocking all my attempts to escalate the hostilities between Om and Baldur's Gate, and these meetings will only serve to smooth the relations. I must rid myself of them all and assume control of the Iron Throne myself. I cannot allow petty business and monetary concerns to interfere. Terribly sorry, father, but my true parentage calls and you are in my way. I shall be sure to instruct the doppelgangers in the exact manner Rialtar should die. I think a garrote would be perfect for the task. Uh, this diary looks to be important. You should probably keep it on your person. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> Question well, the read. <laughs> Where'd you guys go? Oh, I'm, I'm standing in the hallway. Dean Stiers. Where's upstairs? Where'd you guys find stairs upstairs? Oh, it's just the top right of the building. Oh, yeah. From the intro. You dig? Oh, from the intro. Look at that. The intro. It will be done. It will be right. done. Not a problem. Now Bailoth and Yorg can shut the fuck up. <laughs> it will be done. We're gonna get some action around here. Yeah. Not a problem. <laughs> Maybe we should play Sorry. a game. <laughs> what do you need? Who's this fucker? Yeah. Oh, wonderful. I recognize you from the descriptions given. You are one of the accursed 
The accused of murdering our leaders, are you not? I suppose you are here to exact revenge of some, or some such? Well, we are already defeated by one of our own, and you do not need you, and do not need you. You would do better to focus your efforts on Saravak rather than beating up those already beaten. Why would he turn his back on the Iron Throne? <laughs> kind of just read all that. Because he was never interested in us in the first place. The Iron Shortage was to be able was to be an elaborate plan to gain power in the region. It was to strain relations with Om, thus reducing the activity of the Knights of the Shield, and ultimately reducing trade with them through legitimate means. We would step up to monitor the sanctions and pocket hefty sums in the process. Such was the plan, but Saravak apparently had other ideas. It does not matter, I'll fight him to the last. The last what? Citizen? Fleming Fist Soldier? Has them all in his pocket and they believe in him. He has to be a Grand Duke stepping into the stepping into replaced Entar Silver Shield. And he has the full support of the people. He has promised to restore order. And since he created the chaos, I'm sure he will be fairly success successful. I would not be surprised if he was behind Entar's death. Likely the other dukes are in a similar peril. Servok, uh, Servok seems bent on causing destruction, and the smallest diversion is crushed viciously. I must go. I trust I am beneath your concern, so you will not kill me? I hope so. Fine. I will not yeah. kill him. Whatever. Whatever. You'll put a fly the beneath me, bro. You're a dirty little fry. A fry? You must gather You're a fry. Your venturing forth. You're a fry beneath my boot. <laughs> In a dirty downtown McDonald's. Oh. Alright, so to the sewers? To the sewers, John. Yay! You just Schlum -schlum -schlum. Schlum -schlum. Yeah, maybe, maybe we'll see Schlumshaw again. Schlum -schlum -schlum. Maybe he'll bless us. There's no map notes. Do you guys remember where the underseller was? Uh. Did, did we go there? Right. I feel like it was like up some stairs or something. Oh, uh, no. I think over here. Halloween! Halloween! Maybe, perhaps. Halloween! Gather your party before venturing forth. I think it's up here. Is that person? Is that a person? Yeah. Up where, what? sir? There's a person here. There's a person here. He's the sewer cleaner. <laughs> Fuck him. Um, I'm not oh. permitted to initiate dialogue, so... Oh. They He's changed beneath the us? They changed the... Uh... <laughs> 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 they changed the, um... The... The what, Tyler? Uh, you know, where, where are you going? tooltip scroll. They changed it back to a scroll. But it doesn't actually unfurl. It just, uh... Opens? Yeah. Uh -huh. I don't think it's here. I think this is to another second uh -huh. sewer. You must gather your party I think, yeah, but I think it's, um... It was through another section. Yeah, it was through so a I stairway think. door, I think. Yeah, but we have to go through to another section before we get to the stairway door. I don't think so. It will be done. Oh, no? No. Well, what do you call this? <laughs> what? I'm just looking around for something uh -huh. that will... No, it was, it, was, that. it was right back in the last area. Schlump huh. schlump. Schlump schlump. I miss schlump schlump. Me too. He was pretty much the coolest character in the whole game. Right here. You must gather oh, maybe your party not. Before not right there. That's where, That's it's where we would. <laughs> it's right here. Right where Yorg is. You must gather your party before venturing. This is where we were standing before. And I said we walked up to Jason. Yeah, I know. I know okay, that. just checking. Right there. Um, <laughs> oh yeah. There. Right here. Are, are there any whores now? here? Because <laughs> yeah. if there are, I will want to do them. Uh, so other exits are north, south, and Dennis. There's another staircase one to our south. Say Dennis. I did say Dennis. Yeah, let's Dennis. go to the south. It's Dennis. Uh, never mind. There's, yeah, I'm saying there's dentist. Staircase. Oh, no, I, I said well, no, yeah, that's good. This is another staircase one right here. Let's try it. No, okay, no, we'll go I'm, up. I'm standing beside it. I think we need to go... Okay. Wait, right there? No, that's, there's a, one there too. that's a ladder right there. Check this one. Let's just go oh, you, south, right. uh... You must right here, right here, guys. Jason, come back. 
We'll try that one next. Yeah, that south one might be the one. Wait, the undercellar was that bar, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Not a problem. Oh, it was here? definitely not a staircase. It was definitely not a staircase. Are you sure? Yeah. I'm almost positive it was. You I'm almost certain you're both wrong. <sighs> and I hate you. Your party. I wish people watching and they're just like, you're so stupid, it's not that way. Every video, John. <laughs> fucking guy's following us. This stupid sewer cleaner, I hate him. Yeah, go clean some sewers or something, right? Yeah, bitch. What are you, dumb? <laughs> what are you, what are you, fucking retarded? Okay, so where are we going now, geniuses? I'm so mad right now. <laughs> Why do we have to explore all the sewers again? We should never have gone there in the first place. Why can't there be map notes? Oh, we should have. Yeah, right. Ah. <laughs> <sighs> Let's go all the way to the right and go through that. Oh no, that's not the through. To the left? Do you want to go all the way to the left? I feel right. like it was around the area where we killed that ogre mage. Well, didn't we come up out of the undercellar? Where were we beneath? And that was in this area. Hmm, I think we finally found it. He was over here. Alright. Come on, boyos. This has got to be it. Why does Kigain like it in the sewers so much? It's where the gold grows. It's where the gold grows. <laughs> that is not where the gold grows. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it is. Brown yeah. gold. <laughs> Brown gold. Texas he's just, tea. <laughs> he's just panhandling through the shit. This is great. Not a problem. Ah, uh, here we are. Uh, do you guys want to buff at all? Just uh, kill everyone. I guess we could buff right here. Sure. Buff right I here. Sit right down. Do you want me to heal Kagane a little bit as well? Ah, uh, he's fine. Okay. Yep. Shield in this lasts an hour. But in Icewind oh, yeah. Dale, it's like two minutes. Much better. Horse cocky. That's nonsense. Horse, horse cocky. I think that's probably fine. Just the protection from evil, not bless. Uh, we got. Oh, yeah. Look yeah, at we got some stuff. It's the heroes of the oh sword coast. This guy's gonna fight us. Body, it's the heroes of the sword coast. Slice. This guy walk around. Blurred. Slice was the guy in uh, the letters. Oh shit. Go ahead, Jason. Well, 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 dear. What have we here, Blade Father? I don't know, Slides. They're so big and threatening. Oh, my mistake. I was thinking of somebody else. <laughs> oh, she's got a tongue of steel and a heart of gold, my Kristen does. She's so pretty that she makes herself all invisible so guys don't give her hassle. Not that they would with a tough guy like me looking after her, of course. Slide, baby, you tell them, honey. Oh, baby, you know me. You know your Slavy. Hey. You don't go watching us go all mushy, all right? It ain't none of your business. What's that you're whispering, sweetheart? Hey, now, my girl Kristen tells me that yous all have a soft spot for the Grand Dukes. Sure is a shame about Entar Silver Shield, isn't it? One down, two to go, poor Dukes. Wouldn't it have been a better if they had all died together. Bah, Kristen don't give it all away like that now. It's on, what do they call it again, a silver bladder? Ah, uh, enough of this cat and mouse stuff anyhow. I ain't cut out for it. We'll kill him now and do the Duke's to lunch like Sarah Box said to. Mmm, I love you for your minds, laddie. That was fun. I'm launching fireballs! <laughs> <laughs> they, well, I mean, they had that giant hmm? monologue. We probably could have just... Blew them up. Just waiting for Kristen to show herself here so I can throw some darts at her. <laughs> Nothing. I mean, I could do invisibility purge. Found her! <laughs> oh, uh, I just wasted oh, invisibility man. purge. <laughs> <laughs> ah, whatever. Not like I was gonna use it anyway. Got a magical short sword, mm. and some letters, mm. and some gold. Yeah. This sure takes a long time to guess. Oh, cloud kill! Oh, oh you bitch! <laughs> you killed all those innocents <laughs> right before she I'm died. I'm going down. I'm taking all these strangers with me. <laughs> yeah. I want out. I want out. Uh, oh wait, no, I have Zono Sweetheart. 
a whole bunch of spells there. I'm gonna cast Zona Sweeter. Oh, good call. Save as Zona many instances as you can. Well, that and you know they're just gonna wander yeah. into the cloud and kill themselves. Yeah. yeah. Once you save, do you not have to save again? Oh, are you? Why'd you unpause? I'm looting here. Oh, oh, I just I'm failed. Gonna die. My bad. Oh, that's okay. Okay, is it still unpaused or what? Yeah. I stand with ease. Okay. What the hell? Hmm? Fuck. I don't wanna. I am really pissed off that Zone of Sweet Air can be canceled by taking damage. It's like the biggest bullshit. Well, anything. Can any be any spell can be taking damage. It's so stupid. Well. <laughs> Kind of how the games always work. There's some spells that like they're instantaneous, so they can't be interrupted. You know, Zone of Sweet Air should just be instantaneous. It's like a counter spell. Yes, not a problem. All right, what uh, what did that guy have there, Jason? He had a uh, plus three short sword oh. and some notes. I'm gonna pass over to you. Oh yeah. Do some. You actually, have someone that uses short yeah. swords. Invitation. This is an invitation to the inauguration of the newest Grand Duke of Baldur's Gate. It will be held at the Duckle Palace. Present this invitation to the guard at the gate and you will be allowed entrance. This looks to be an important note, one that you should hold on to. <laughs> Slight. The time to strike is now. When the party commences on the night of my coronation, you will join up with my doppelganger assassins at the sewer entrance of the palace. You yeah. are to insinuate yourself into the crowd in the ballroom. When I have finished my speech, you will strike. If you aren't there, my doppelganger, doppel, <sighs> my doppelgangers will proceed without you, and your payment will be forfeit. Make sure to keep a leash on your little bitch of a wife. An invitation to the party is included with this note. Zeravak. This looks to be an important note. One that you should hold on to. Jesus. Okay. I stand ready. Zeravak's not very good at inviting not people to parties. No. <laughs> Bring your little bitch. Hey, bring Wanna you. have a look at me, daddies? <laughs> bring you, bitch. Um, to the Duckle Palace, then? Gather your yeah, let's duck it up. To the Palace of Ducks. Should we go the, back uh, this way, or... Where? Do you guys know a, a quicker way out? No. Uh, isn't there an exit right here? There's an exit everywhere. <laughs> there are four exits. No, they're not. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, there are. Yeah, right. I think no. the one back this no, way was better. Okay. <laughs> the sewer one? Okay, I guess we're going back into the sewer. You must gather your party before There's only two exits. Forth. You're right, John. There's one to the south as well, actually. You must the south left. Party you fucking lied to me. To the street. We were both wrong. You lied to me. You getting smart? <laughs> you know I'll never forgive you, John. Hold your fucking tongue. I'll hold your tongue. <laughs> you will... Forgive me, or never receive the healing. <laughs> uh, let's just go upstairs. Not a problem. Yeah. And to the Duckle yeah. Palace. Le Palace Duckle de Gaulle. Palace. Le Palais du Gaulle. Le Palais du Gaulle. Le Palais du Gaulle. Le Palais du Gaulle. There's one en français. Here, John. <laughs> en français. There's one on the other side too. Pig. Le Palais du Gaulle. Le Palais. Pig. Just take us up the goddamn you ladder. <laughs> Alright, let's <laughs> do it. The Palace of Dukes. The Palais de la Duke. <laughs> uh, where is it, even? I think it's top left. Is this the big one? Oh, yeah, you're totally right. <laughs> Top left is Antar Silver Shield's estate, and he's dead now, so. <laughs> oh, need to worry about him. Come now, Peter. Come. You must come talk to me. Oh, oh, I see. Oh, what are you doing? <laughs> Where? Uh, I thought way? you were taking us to the big one. Since... <laughs> Don't talk to me, you say. <laughs> I went to the wrong area. I'm an idiot. I know. <laughs> I mean, I know that you went to the wrong area. I don't know that you're an idiot. <laughs> hey, look, you want to donate? No. Okay. Um, no. Um, no. It will be done. Over here. 
fellas. Oh, we're here now? We don't we're here, I'm Bill. We don't need to go back. What's up, Bill? Yo, oh. Bill. Greetings! I assume you've come to the battles for the coronation of Zaravok. Well then, I'll need to see your invitation. There are the Just... invitations. Could you let us in now? We're in a hurry. Don't be so impatient. Let's take a look at these invitations. Mmm, yes. They do look authentic. Alright then, you can enter. Thank you, sir. Did you see those graphics? You Aren't you just the best guard? And that gate going up? Did it... Was it automatic, or did it actually... It was automatic. Animate. Serve the flaming oh. fist. Uh, serve the flaming fist. Flaming like uh, Could you please hand over... Mm, that's me. Could you please hand over your invitations to the fellows? Here are the invitations. Thank you very much. You may pass now. Hmm? Yeah, I know I can. Not Bitch. A noble woman, noble woman, noble man's. Flaming I'm sorry, but the flaming fists have to be like. Oh, fuck, there's Sarah. That's Sarah Bob. He's right so, there. Don't look at him. So they just start <laughs> casting buffs in this I'm corner? Look directly at him. <laughs> now, now that all of our guests, of our guests have arrived, we can begin with the ceremony that you have all been awaiting. As all of you know, this is a so special occasion no, no. of the city of Baldur's Gate. It is, it is time for a new per <laughs> God damn it. It is time for a new person to join the ranks of the Grand Dukes. I do not wish to downplay the tragedy that we suffered with the loss of Entar Silver Shield, but this is not the time for us to show grief. The votes have been, the votes have been submitted by the landowners. The God result damn it. was nearly unanimous. Your cunt belt. What of Duke <laughs> Has his condition improved at all? If he dies, who will replace him? What about the rumors of Arm mobilizing for war? Why aren't we preparing for war? With our iron shortage, how are we to defend ourselves? Who will give us the iron we need? What of the Centaurum? I've heard that they may be somehow involved. I believe that Elton was poisoned by members of the Shadow Thieves. The Shadow Thieves. They're obviously trying to kill our leaders. All of your questions will be answered in due time. Due. You need not worry. Shoot. Antar due time. was killed by Shadow Thieves, agents of Arm. If it isn't obvious to the rest of you, it's obvious to me. Arm wants a war! Goddammit, you're playing into Seravok's ploy. The evidence we have about Entar's murder does resemble the work of the Shadow Thieves, but... Resembles? That's ridiculous! The signature left behind on the body was the mark of the Shadow Thieves! Are you blind and stupid, woman? If I may continue. The signature left behind was very blatant and could have been put there to mislead all of us. Who would want to mislead us? Well, Perhaps the Shadow Thieves? No, Sarah. This meeting degenerated to meaningless bickering. We are here to welcome the new Grand Duke, so perhaps we should get on with it. Introducing the new Grand Duke, is Serevok Enshevi. I am honored to be here before <laughs> such a respected assemblage of noblemen. I accept my new position with full awareness to my new responsibilities, and I will have many of them. You just... You just nailed it. <laughs> oh, <laughs> enjoy. <clears throat> I would first like to address the many questions that have been asked earlier. The rumors about Arm's mobilization for war are entirely true, as is the involvement of their Zentarim cohorts. But do not worry, we are not bereft of a defense. Although the recent Zentish attempts at depriving us of our most valuable war resource, iron, has weakened and not crippled us. When my father was more recently murdered, I inherited his control over the western branch of the Iron Throne. They have a great deal of stockpiled iron, enough for all of our needs. I will give this to the city to do with as you will. Unfortunately, our greatest military commander lies on his deathbed, a grievous blow to this city. To ensure that the Flaming Fist is well led, I will be assuming control of the mercenary regiment, with permission from its current steward, Angelo. Angelo. Uh, that bastard. Angelo. Uh, Sorry. Wait one moment. That is not in your power to decide. Shut up. Let Servox speak. Instead of waiting for the war to come to us, we will take it to them. With the Flaming Fist, we should be able to easily take the town of Nashkel and then quickly fortify the mountain pass through the Cloud Peaks. What? Who dares interrupt? Um. Oh, these are the... 
These noble mans are going to become duple, duple gongers. Hmm? Not a problem. And it's all part of his plan. All right. Jack, yes. I need to summon Jack. <laughs> I need an um, do you want me to just start casting ready. buffs, or are we just going to blow this water our way through this room? Greater, greater, greater. Are they all turning? Hmm? Yeah, it looks like it. it looks like they're I'm all gonna, I'm going to start casting buffs. What's well, even the point of this whole friggin' meeting if he's just talking to his own guys? Uh, because, because I don't think then is... the doppelgangers are gonna pretend to interrupt, kill the other two Grand Dukes, and then he's gonna uh, have the floor duple. for the rest of them. No one can duke like Sarah Duke. Who the f who the fuck hit Kagan? <laughs> who did it? Kagan was always at this house. crap? No, he just took a potion. <laughs> I'm not impressed. Oh, one of the Grand Dukes already died. That really sucks. Jesus Christ. Are they both dead? Belt is not dead. That really sucks. Crap. It really sucks that they died so quickly? Yeah. So instead of casting buffs, I guess we should have just charged and tried to take aggro? Yeah, maybe. Maybe there's uh, incentives for not having them die. Mm. That sucks, ready. I want to die. Yeah, I mean, if you want to retry, we fuck can em. retry and see. No, fuck it. I hate dukes. Oh, well, we still belt. Tyler, you were belt. Uh, it was lucky that such brave people as yourselves intervened on our behalf. Is there anything that I can do for you in return? Um... <clears throat> Take a look at these documents we have. Zeragok is the one who tried to kill you. Had Entar killed and nearly killed Eltan. I'll take a look, but if you're wrong, the punishment for such false accusations is severe. Angelo! Those people are the ones wanted on multiple counts of murder! Kill them! These men are not to be touched until I have finished reading these documents. You don't need to read that document. Since I know you're too stupid to take it my take my advice, I'll just take your head. There we go. With ease. Um, yes. I could try to cast mental domination, but I imagine that probably won't it's work. Oh my God! <laughs> Should I back out? Oh, yeah, probably. Yeah, maybe. Won't hit you now. Okay, I'm just gonna leave. Ready. Oh. Oh, oh, oh my god. <laughs> Run as you will. You and I are unfinished. Archer Darkman. I'll kill you, just as I killed Grian. The only way you'll ever live in peace is if you kill me first. Oh, who's this asshole? Winnie Perror is. Hey, this guy's in uh, in Dragon Age. I really? need an owl. Yeah, totally. I think so. Maybe. Uh, I think I'll have to yes. look that one up later. Sounds super familiar. <laughs> oh, he left. I'm gonna try to cast Hold Hope. Oh, he must have taken Saravog with him. Yeah. I think it uh. is in your best interest to hunt Saravog and kill him before he does the same to you. I think you're right. The only problem is finding the bastard. Through the power of my god, I should be able to divine his location. Just wait a moment, and I'll tell you where he has gone. He has been teleported to Thieves' Guild. I will dimension fold you to where he has gone. From there, you can follow him and kill him. Good luck. Please, please wait. <laughs> you want to loot okay. you guys? Um, yeah. The other guy probably had some good shit. Heal. <laughs> what is this? It seems like everyone's crashing in on the Thieves' Guild these days. First that huge armored guy, now you. You better tell me where you hear about it, and right quick, or you're in a lot of trouble. We're tracking down Saravok, the huge armored guy. Where did they go? He went down the stairs right over there. He was in such a hurry. If you're going after that guy, it'd probably be good if you to get a little more prepared than you look. Down there's the Thief's Warrens, and they're really dangerous. Go talk to Black Lily over in the storeroom by the stairs. She'll use some good prizes on equipment. I even hear she sells more uh, some magic stuff. Really? Magic stuff? 
All right, uh, before we go after him, we should probably call this episode here. And uh, thank you guys for watching. We'll see you in the next episode of Let's Play Baldur's Gate Enhanced Edition Co-op with John and Jason. Bye-bye. Ciao.